Welcome to Swag Fails. In this video, overturned trucks, USA road rage, bad truck drivers. All of these thrilling moments are waiting for you in today's video. So let's take a look and learn how to become a wiser and a safer driver. Start the journey now. There is nothing like an unsecured load to mess up some random person's day while the irresponsible driver moves right along with a clear care in the work. The entire rear wheel of a triple axle semi-trailer blew up in a shower of sparks and bounced around on the road. Luckily, I and all the vehicles behind me avoided hitting the tires as well. No one was hurt during the incident. An extreme close call. That was luck. It is hard for anyone to avoid being sandwiched between two giant drilling rigs with only a small space. This happened right at the on ramp to I 80W at mile 104 by Rock Springs, WY. When a truck is overloaded and speeding on a slippery road, few drivers can control the steering wheel if it is speeding compared to the conditions. Understand how do these people passing their CDL certifications in the first place? Traffic is finally cleared by nobody moving. We all stay to watch how it plays out. It is amazing how easy it is for a big rig to get stuck. This guy was trying to poop the curb at a small hometown pharmacy. I don't even know what the hell he was trying to do. Considering his weight, height, momentum, and turning right up a hill, I think he was showing you that you didn't need to ride his ass and that he will speed when he can. a collision because the truck driver was trying to exit at the last moment but unfortunately despite his recklessness he still couldn't exit in time i am convinced that it is crosswind related but at the same time it looks like the fifth wheel might be broken either it is torn from the frame or one of the plate bushings is she on i-24 outside clark's valley Puthols are making some big trucks swerve with absolute disregard. You got lucky. It happened after the guardrail ended, and you had some nice grass to pull into. Where do people find time for the horn? I am on those brakes so hard that the only thing keeping me off the dash is the seat belt and the two hands on the wheel. He never looked at the rear view mirror, he just changed lanes, regardless of the traffic behind. Both attempted to merge into the same lane in Arlington, Texas, on the westbound I-30 between Collins and Cooper. Firepower Systems employee assaulting motorists and repeatedly attempting to cause a collision. Those big trucks cannot stay in one lane. That's why they do not overtake signs on the back. He probably sped to not hit the person next to him. The driver of this car was driving in their lane when suddenly a bus approached from the opposite side. I tried to wrongly overtake a truck and crashed into the side of the car, although no body was harmed, but the car's right body was crushed. The impatient driver was trying to speed up on the snowy road 
to get ahead and received an instant memorable hit. A pile of as many as 20 mattresses blow off the back of a truck and blocked a busy motorway, causing chaos for drivers. Luckily, it didn't cause any further collisions. The reason is said to be that it is doors were not secured and swung open. Seriously, did he step on the accelerator incorrectly before? I didn't even get out to check on the situation when the car gets stuck, instead stubbornly turning the steering wheel. The big truck turned right in front of the SUV without thinking that it could get ahead when it suddenly cut someone off like that. Luckily, the SUV's brakes work well. Cars waiting to take a lift across oncoming traffic are nearly rear-ended by a cement truck. The truck runs off the road and comes close to overturning on its shoulder. The truck driver clearly saw the plow. It didn't look like the truck slowed down at all. This is totally an avoidable crash. It occurred in Pantago, Texas. The insured's insurance company, Amica, has wrenched after accepting liability. The bus collided, breaking the height restriction metal frame in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. There was a sign prohibiting passenger cars, but he still stubbornly rushed into it. Should have gone out to check on the situation as soon as he saw that car couldn't move. Stubbornly, Rushing away will only cause the wheel to be more severely damaged. The container truck was driving on the Highway 1 in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. When approaching the overpass, the roof of the container pulled off the 4.3 meter high steel frame and fell on the bus. I would say the car is at fault because the truck already occupied the lane and the car was still switching. The truck could have prevented it, but the car is at fault. The turn signal light was on. It is not like the driver fell asleep or was distracted. Perhaps the light was so bright that he misjudged the distance. Who would drive 70 miles per hour in these conditions in a pickup truck? If you really need to get there, 45 miles per hour is safest for you. You might have had a better outcome if the trucker had driven more defensively and adapted their speed to match the weather conditions. Hopefully, this car's hood won't need to be replaced. How can you drive such overloaded cars, uncle? It's dangerous for yourself and other vehicles on the road. Is this even legal? Everyone's laughing till they realize he's using brake fuel and not windshield washer fluid. <laughs> Trucker here, most of the time this is caused by your trucks turning around in a short area, causing tandems to spin in place with 40,000 pounds of cargo.
for God's sake, make the opposite maneuvering back out. How many roads does that driver need? The street doesn't look so narrow. It's dangerous if he doesn't stop this car immediately. It may cause unexpected collisions with other vehicles on the road. Why does NYC update its bridge aids with proper clearance? Because 90% of signs in NYC are showing the wrong clearance for truckers. I don't know which was more painful, the truck trying to squeeze through or the Corolla driver deciding if they want a check or not. I think the truck driver should have better visibility when starting to turn to avoid unwanted collisions. This is what it means to be a trucker. Very well done. He didn't panic or rush, took his time, told about it and got around the corner safely. Great job! That is crazy. The only correct course of action is that you miss the exit and railroads. Next time, please pay more attention to the highway exits, otherwise, it's very dangerous. It is that police officers protect and serve a comment to safety standards. Damn! Oh, that nigga. Oh. I don't think being next to an electrical bus that is transferring high voltage and stepping it down to household current is necessarily safe for that young lady sitting next to it. Luckily, he was not injured. That's very dangerous. I think this is a valuable lesson for him about his carelessness. Remember to turn off the car engine and step off safely. <laughs> Oh no! Maybe he should hold the wheel more firmly against the strong winds. It seems that he needs to improve his driving skills to avoid unexpected danger. What, dude? Yeah, I ain't waiting around for. He kept on driving the first five flips, should have been this warning sign to pull over and stop the truck. Contact his dispatcher and let them know the truck is going to flip over with the high winds if it continues to drive. Oh my gosh. Imagine crashing and you're just staring at each other. Oh nuts, what a dangerous drift! But instead, no one was hurt by the driver's incredibly smooth handling. What an unlucky car! Maybe he wouldn't be in this situation if he went a little slower. What do you think happened to this trucker? How to free this truck car?
Like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below and let us know your thoughts. See you again. It seems that he has never tried a call like this before, right? But it's okay, you'll get used to it. His brother can do it if he drives a reckless truck. So, got karma, maybe you are. Seriously, whoever fault it is, the red car has to move back. Maybe not. She'll go forward and take the red car out of the game. I know whose truck that is. That wasn't the first time a beer has broken into it. Lock indoors is a real necessity in Tahoe to keep the beers out. Yo, out. No, it's fine, it's fine. If you can dodge it, grab it. Oh my god. Flash your headlights until he sees it. Dude, I just watched the save. Then keeps going like nothing happened. Oops. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the Looks like they got on the brakes fairly quick. That's the fool in front's fault. <coughs> if it's good enough for the space elevator, it's good enough to tow cars. What's the problem? At least, it is better than starting a wildfire. That is pretty incredible. Oops, so dangerous, be careful. Yes. 
Ah, that'll buff right out. Can't you just report him to the cops? Oh my gosh, I think it's hard for him to drive this overloaded car safely. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Can you believe he can move so smoothly? Optimus Prime Technically, not off roading. Don't be that guy waiting for something to happen. Good job, truck driver. I see professional driver. If you go fast enough and you believe hard enough, you can make it. Can you guess if this truck will fall over? Very expensive mistake! Oh my 
Oh no! Must be a safety demonstration. What's happened? The building as well. Daniel, it is so sad when I see that. Should have drove faster than the truck weighs less. Haha, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh when I saw an overloaded truck for the first time picking up such a head. <laughs> I always think about the story where the trucker showed the driver down for an upcoming speed trap. When they zoomed out and there is so much room, rage inducing. They should lose their license. This is uh, how you hold a ladder on a car. I thought this was super funny. This is uh, America, isn't it? Oh. What happened? I don't know. It's going on my YouTube channel now. Left more space for the ambulance, even though unfortunately it didn't help in this instance. Truck suddenly swerved into another lane without looking and commits a hit and run. And there is still people blaming the biker. Someone didn't set the car in park. It's actually $10,000. Okay, yeah, that sounds cool. Are you okay, bro? Maybe it's very expensive, right? Wow, it's unbelievable. Bro, he's gonna end up dying. Homie, homie, there's something wrong with your truck. Oh my god, he made it up the hill. How? Talk about it. In just a small moment, it seems that a whole building has collapsed. It's so scary.
The building was thick with fortifications, but in an instant, it collapsed in the blink of an eye. So there is only a pile of rubble left. Faster than a wind turbine, should have hooked it up to the national grid. That's him, log out for today. You couldn't have just slowed down and wait for him to pull out and then continue to move to the left lane. Work smart, not hard. But if that crane gets overloaded or the balance tips wrong, then work's about to get even harder. It was because someone didn't lick the suctions good enough. This always happens to me. Oh, oh. Ah, yes, let me make a near complete stop on highway to merge lanes. The way your truck swerved in front of him at the last moment is wrong, 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 wrong. Also, this comment is pure sarcasm. I don't know, are you supposed to leave it in gear while it's warming up? Was the parking brake broke? Why will they not just work along the truck bed? That should be charged as reckless endangerment. Oh no! Maybe it can be restored to the original! No phone at work! Haha! <laughs> Thank you.
Oh no, it seems that this band is too tricky. Some bricks on the train. Oh my god, seems to have been overloaded with energy. They told him get the job or get fired. It's unbelievable! Oops! So scared! When she says it's too big and you wiggle a little bit Oops, he must have panicked when he was so helplessly trapped. Damn, it's amazing that he can still ride on ice and on overloaded trucks so smoothly. It's hard to go uphill without some help. Oh my gosh, how did he manage to drive such a long car? How? Slick, what motors y'all got in them truck?
He drives better backwards than most people can drive forwards. I must know that those tires are for tire swing for Giants. Without a doubt, it's controlled demolition. No, oh my god! Boom! Oh no! All that remains is Rian. So sad. Oh, oh. Oh, cool. That's just a shoddy wall, there that is. Whoa! <laughs> it's really, really dangerous. Oops, just a minute. Wow, really the driver is too good. So sad, what happened? Maybe he is definitely not forklift certified. If it looks right, it is right. That ain't right. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know thoughts. See you again. And that's why you never stand under the load. Very skilled operator has to also compensate for the rocking of the ship.
thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know your thoughts. See you again. Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swike Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my Walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning